Okay, we're back. It's episode 10 of trying to see the flyers. And if you look off to the right or above my head, you'll see that it's this season's not going so well. Um, it's not for lack of us, you know, not stopping goals. It's us not scoring. Um, uh, everybody except for the top line is on a down year for some reason. Like I've got Fantilli, cool. Konecki, cool. Brink, all right, scoring goals. And then that's it. Goatee hasn't done anything. Frost has been very quiet. Uh, Force Y'all has had a very bad rookie season. Uh, Forster hasn't done much. Sterner hasn't done much. Yeah, and I even sent down Eklund, which now he's having a great season and he's developed. Um, you'll probably notice that there's a lack of a certain Sean Couturier, and there's also addition of a Jason Robertson. Um, we're right at the deadline. So we made two trades. Um, I need to get the contract off my book, off my table for Couturier, because I'm not giving him $7 million to be on my fourth line for five more years. We did trade Farabee, Turley, a third, a third, to Dallas for Robertson. Uh, Farabee was also having a eh, year, only scored 10 goals. So he's been kind of meh. So we got rid of him. Got Jason Robertson, who's had 30 goals with Dallas and looks good. So him on the top line with Pantilli and TK should be good. And then we gave up Vegas a second round for this year. No, next year. For Couturier for a first round pick two years down the line. Um, two years down the line because our scout reports have come up with uh, a lot of Good players. One from uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Yes, you said I heard that right. Or I said that right. Uh, I don't have their scouting reports. Let's see. Just, no. Crazy? No. 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 Uh, uh, I kind of wish I could look at that up. Apparently, I cannot. That's a shame. So we're looking towards the future. This is kind of a retool on the fly. Art is doing really well for what we've given him. So he's leading the league in goals against. Um, as you can also see, Merzlikens is deciding he wants to be an NHL All-Star goalie. So that's why Ottawa's doing really good. Um, we are 7th or ninth. Okay, we're ninth. We're fighting Columbus and Montreal and Toronto and Carolina for the last spot. It's great. Not ideal, not what I expected. As you can see, we're not allowing a lot of goals. We're just not scoring a lot of goals. It's top line or bust. And they've had a couple games where they've all put up like three, four, five points each, which is awesome. Um, Florida is killing it. Ottawa, like everybody was saying, was going to kill it, is killing it, despite the fact that they have. Uh... Oh, never mind. Their injuries are good. But they had injuries. Okay, Stutzel's got the injury for a little bit. Strained ACL that he's playing through. And, yeah. So, that top line of theirs is murdering everything. Yeah. They're all almost 30 goal scores. Almost. Uh, as you saw also earlier, Arizona is killing it. Finally. Their, their time has come. Chicago's doing good, too. Colorado... Vancouver, Calgary, Minnesota, and Anaheim are rounding out the West. Um, nobody's really kind of absolutely trashing it in the Western Conference. East is it's Quebec. It's Quebec or bust, but they have Skurik, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So, that's their deal. Uh, weren't any really big deals. Deadline was kind of quiet, oddly enough. There's just been little minor trades here and there, nothing outlandish. Our upcoming free agency has really shrunk. Uh, McDavid signed, and who else? Who else signed? Who else was I like? Ooh, uh, Stutzel? No, not Stutzel. Uh, let's see, sorry, the Brinkett resign is resigning. He got almost 11, 10.6. Um, the insane part is, is that McDavid gave um, Edmonton a discount because he's ten six four. 
for his skill level that's absurd and also a savings of two million dollars on their salary cap so that's cool for them must be nice they still have this to worry about though but they've got 20 mil to play with so there's that um who else eichel eichel resigned with vegas so he signed for another 10 5 and so all the hopeful excitement i had kind of has glittered away um robertson we're looking at resign he also wants 10 mil i'm kind of like eh. i'm hoping Evan bouchard walks or Dalene. i would love to sign one of these two and of course capital we'd love to sign and i gotta figure out what i'm gonna do with carter Side note, Ovechkin is unreal right now. 37 goals as a 40-year-old. He's sitting at 929 goals now. So he has taken that record and made it his own. Uh, usually, and I was talking with him on Twitter about this, Matthews is the one that does the eclipsing of this, and he's almost at, he is almost at 500 goals, which is insane. And he is 28. So I expect him to contend with that record. So that's the deadline. And we will continue on through the season. Hopefully make the playoffs. So it's either the video, the next video is going to be playoffs or draft. One or the other. We're retooling on the fly. And my owner is not particularly thrilled with me. Uh, based on my job security, I'm kind of creeping down and they're not happy because of losing Couturier. We acquired Robertson who's apparently a living legend but other than that it's been slowly tinking down. Like we were we were rocking pretty good. Like early in the season and then the, the, the five game losing streak our mid-season evaluation it's all kind of just been circling down the drain retooling the fly. Uh, York is really ticking me off because he is not developing for crap. So I would not be surprised to see him moved potentially if I need help. Um, and plus we've got Sharp coming up. Eklund's going to be definitely a factor. Hopefully Cutter, he's a three-star now, but I need him to score. Uh, Cates is still hanging around. Like so, good. <laughs> Nobody really else. Um... Sterner, I'm giving time. And then we'll have Celebrini coming back. One of these three. At least Fontaine or uh, Lee could be coming into play. Or Marins. Like I've got depth in spots. Um, yeah. And Cornar is not doing very good. But I don't really have much of an option. It's either him or Arison. And Arison hasn't done good either. So it's like... Mm, this season's been weird. It has been a weird season. I can't get something, I can't get anything working besides Fantilli and Connecting. Which is the tough part. And Arison's pissed off. Galloway too, but he's not that good. McLennan, Ludwinski. Ludwinski. We've had a few injuries here and there. Um, but like nothing serious, thankfully. And we're past the deadline, so we don't have to worry about that. Goalie wise, so. Yeah.